Hello everyone, TouchTube and Anime and Sandy here, and today we are reading another Dogman book, and this is one, and this one's called Grime and Punishment. I mean, Dogman, Grime and Punishment, that's what I meant to say. And so, yeah, <clears throat> I think we're going to be doing great parts of, re of, re of reading this book. So, yeah, I might make another part. I may, I may, I may make part threes. And let me show you the side of the book. There's the bag. I don't know what his, I don't remember what his name was. And here's the 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 blah blah, blah the square things that I'll be reading in this book inside the book. But anyways, let's just get started on reading this book. Okay. Hold up. There we go. Dogman Grabbing Punishment by Dave Pilkey. 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 I don't, I don't really. Whatever. Anyways, here are all the chapters, and there's Big Jim. Or you can call or in, when he's dressed up as Commander Cupcake. Just let you know. He's going to be dressed as Commander Cupcake. Anyways, let's start reading. Hiya, pals. It's George and it's your boys, George and Harold. Sep, we're you're not gonna believe this, but we're totally got famous. It all started last week when we were selling our comics at the mall. Hey, you can't meddle your wares here. Why not meddle wares? Yeah, I never wear, I never meddle in a wear in my life. Hey, what's a wear? Beats me. I'm calling the cops on you, male factors. And so, what's all this then? These silicons are conducting illic transactions. Hmm, we better check this out. Ha 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 ha. Hey, these comics are awesome. Thanks. We already have a special discount for cops. Yeah, three for five bucks. Okay, I'll take three. Give me six. Ka ching. Aren't you going to arrest them? Relax, Sherlock. They're just kids. The cops told everybody about our comics. And soon the crowds grow, grew and grew. Mall is popular again. What should can we? What should we do about those two kids? I know. Let's give them free food and stuff. Zong. And so, thanks for the free beer fl float, Sherlock. My name's not Sherlock. I already told you like fifty times. Well, we better get started on our next comic. Our public wait waits. While we work on our next tale, definitely. Charlie, check out the story this far. Turn the page. Doc, man, our story this far. One day, there was a cop in a police dock who got hurt in an explosion. Pop. They arched to the hospital, and the doctor had sad news. Boo-hoo. Sorry, cop, but, dude, but your body is dying. Aw, oh, darn it. And your body is dying, doggy, dude. <laughs> But then the nurse lady had a super late idea. I know it switched the dog's head onto the cup's body. <coughs> Sorry. It's calm. You're a genius, nurse lady. I know. So they had a big operation, and that's how Dogman started. You've seen it a, a lot of times. Anyways, Dogman kept the city safe from evil doors. Rats, until one day when everything changed. Hi, Papa. Pity, the world's most evil cat, has transformed by luck. And now he's a good guy. But now, but when even Pity's heart ch has changed, his, his mind is still haunted by ghosts of the past. Pity, I am your father. Hey, this didn't happen. If Pity's going to continue to do good, he might need a little help from his friends. I barely know these people, so sit back and enjoy our newest epic graphic novel. It's only a comic book. Chapter 1, Chief's Big Day. Good afternoon, I'm Mayor. Welcome to, um, thank you for joining us at this nice ocean, where we're here to honor Chief for being the best chief in town. Hooray, yippee, isn't he the only chief in town? Shh. Here to present the award is she's very best friend, Dogman. Hooray, yay, clap, 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 clap. Chief Rocks, yay, or well, let me just do this. I, that's not a clap sound, okay, oh well. Clap, clap, clap. Where is he? I bet he's 
<clears throat> he was only a minute here a minute ago. I bet he's out there digging up those flower buds. My roses! Oh, don't worry, Mare. Dogma would never do anything like that. Oh, dog man. Listen, here he comes now. Huh? My roses! How could things get any worse? No! Introducing Flipperama. And I already know the steps. Sorry, hold up again. Remember, while you were flipping, to be sure to see the page image on 23 and page 25. If you flip quickly, the two page visuals start to look like an animated cartoon. Don't forget to add your sound effects. Now it's time for flip along. Okay. Bad doggy. Give me back my glasses. Oh, don't cry, Mary. He was just... I am not crying. He slobbered all over my glasses. And grime, he grime all over my new suit. And he dug up my rose garden. If he dug... If that dog had a cup messes up one more time, I'm going to take his badges away. Oh, don't cry, Mare. I mean, don't cr don't worry, sir. Dog must just get excited. That's all. He'll be good from now on. Well, I sure hope so. Now, where's my hat? Hey, my hat! Dogman, quick, give me the hat. Give it. Let's go, seriously. Rip. Crack. Crack. Run! Croof. Russell, Russell, Russell. Swish. Dog man, come back here with that hat. Chapter 2, the saddest chapter ever written. That night. Ding dong. What do you want? And what's he doing here? I thought I told you to get rid of that guy. But Mayor, please. Don't Mayor, please me. That dog headed cup is a nuisance. If you won't fire him, I will. Give me your badges. Oh, sorry about that, guys. You're fired, dog man. Now get off my lawn. You see, Mr. Sh Mr. Sh Snookums? I told you I was a powerful person. Yes, sir, everyone listen to me, because I'm the best mayor in town. Good night, Mr. Snookums. We're not going to cry, okay? We're going to be brave. We'll just go in here, and we'll walk to your desk, and we'll pack your things. So you always remember us. Here's this dirt bone you like to chew. Here's the squeaky toy telephone. Squeak, squeak. And here's the little ball you love to. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Gee, <laughs> she's really crying. I'm. I'm not, not crying. It's just allergies. I think I got allergies too. <laughs> Me too. We're allergic to sadness. <laughs> hey, what's going on in here? Splish splash. Dogman just got fired. Well, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Dogman is an awful cop. Yeah, he, he chewed up my new phone. And he pooped in my filling cabinet again. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Splish, splash, splish, splash. Look what you've done. You made everyone cry, and you even broke Chief's heart. Get out of here, dog man, and don't come back. Splash. <laughs> chapter J, this chapter that's totally not sad as the last one. Meanwhile, it's okay, ADHD. You can make the tree red. It's our story. We can color it any way you want. Hey, look, Dogman's home from... What's wrong, Dogman? Did you get in trouble at work again? What happened? Oh. You did? Oh. You, he did? Oh. You can't. Hmm. I got an idea. We'll help you get your job back. Don't worry about a thing. We'll just come upstairs and lie down in your bed. And we'll read you this bedtime story. Are you? And I, I wrote the words and ready, she drew the pictures. You ready? Here's Dogman. We, we petted Dogman by the tree. 
He had a, we had a dream, but it wasn't scary. Look at us, we're in the world. Do you like Dogman? We do. Now it's nighttime. The end. He's asleep. Come on, ADC, we got some work to do. Meanwhile, in the other part of town, someone else was hard at work too. I just need to connect these tubes in the high hyper dive. If I, then my newest invention will be. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up and the sun, up came the sun and. Would you cut that out? Why do you have to be so annoying? It never fails. Every time when I'm working or reading or sleeping, you're jumping up and down my bed or singing a stupid song or telling one of your pointless stories. Last night you woke me up and asked me what my favorite color was. I have had it with, here with you. <laughs> At last, check out my latest invention, my, the Mighty Motor Brain. <laughs> Are you ready to test it out? Why do you gotta be so mean, Grandpa? I thought you liked me. I never said I liked you. I said I needed you. Y you you do? Of course I do. Pat, pat, pat. I needed you to be my guinea pig. Guinea pig? Certainly. The motor brain has never been tested. It might be dangerous. That's why I needed to try it on. But, but, Grandpa, is this thing safe? Oh, don't worry, Big Jim, it'll be fine. Now I let's turn it on, this baby on. What's this supposed to do, Grandpa? It's a personally implifer. It takes your own innermost psyche and multiplies explosion till it till it, whatever the word that says. So let's turn on the di dial to up to 11. Bzz. And now let's see what happens. Whoop. Oh. So how do you feel, Big Jim? Me, not Big Jim. Me, Snug. And Snug feels like cuddle. No, wait. Snuggle-rama. Snug flip like there's snug no rip. Snug pet kitty. Snug kiss kitty. Snug cuddle kitty. Snug love kitty. Help! Whoa. Wham. What's this? A secret escape room? Chapter 4. The dog in the hat. Instead of the cat in the hat from Dr. Seuss. Meanwhile, while Dogman was still sound asleep, Little Pity and Lady She were upstairs in the ballroom completing their newest invention. Okay, Lady She, let's test it out. Click meow. Click hiss. Now for the final test. Wake up, Dogman. Flip, flip, flip. Me and Lady She made a new invention. Let's try it on. Oh. Plop. Cool. You look like a cat, dog man. If you if you if you press this ear, you can talk like a cat. Click meow. Now let's try the other ear. Click hiss. Now we just need one last detail. Perfect. Ding dong. Doorbell. Ruff 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 ruff. ruff. Oh hi dog. Pa oh hi papa. Bonk, 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 slurp, 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 cuck, hug, hug. Stop it! Not everyone wants to be petted or slobbered, you know? Sorry, Papa. Look, it's okay if you do it, but what's his problem? That's Dog Man. I know that's Dog Man. Why is he dressed up like that? Oh, because he got fired last night, and Chief isn't allowed to hire dogs anymore, so we turned him into a cat. Nobody's going to believe he's a cat. They won't. No, he looks ridiculous. But we gotta help him, Papa. Alright, here. Alright, alright. Here's some advice. Don't roll any dead fish. And quit sticking your tongue out. Wow, he looks better already. Problem solved. Alright, kid. Let's go get some jello. Okay. Bye-bye, dog man. Good luck. Okay. I think we're going to stop here for today. So...
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for part 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of these videos, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.